All right, what up guys? Welcome, my name is Martin. Welcome to My Beginner's Mind, your channel to help you live a happier and healthier life. Today, a little more relaxed, taking a stroll along the beach, and it is a beautiful day here, sunny San Diego. And I really like to talk about something particular today, and that is taking your yoga off the mat. A lot of us introduce to yoga, and we start with our asana practice. And while the asana practice great, you know, don't get me wrong, I love my asana every day. But while our asana practice is great for our body, calming our mind, there's like this whole other side to yoga that a lot of people don't know about. It's a guide. It's a way of living in which we really are just on this journey to kind of create this never-ending joy, this never-ending happiness. And I think that's something that everybody in this world can benefit from. So besides our asana practice, the moves, you know, what really is there to yoga? Well, there's this whole eightfold path, this guide in which we can learn to live better, learn to live happier, learn to live in this cohesion with the earth and everybody around us. Without getting too in detail, because I want to make videos on each one of these topics, just to cover the first three, the third being the asana, those are the moves you do on the mat. The first two, niyamas, yamas, those are the ethics in which we can live our life. They're kind of these guidelines in which we can learn to be happier, learn to kind of be healthier mentally as well as with everybody around us. Yoga is really this amazing system that I really invite you to learn a little bit more about. I like to think about this analogy. Through life, we're driving our car. We're driving and stuff kind of gets on the windshield. It gets a little bit dirtier. We're not really able to see the potholes as well anymore. You know, the sky, the trees, everything gets a little bit kind of blurrier or really influenced by what we've kind of picked up along the road. So yoga really kind of helps clean our windshield. It helps take the sky and now we used to think it looked a certain way, but now after we've cleaned the windshield, whoa, that sky, it's looking a lot different. Those trees around us, you know, everything becomes a little bit more real. It becomes the way it is, as opposed to the way we think that it was because of our past, because of things that we've experienced. It really helps us navigate this road of life. It helps us avoid the potholes and really just learn to live this life that's in peace, this life that's calm, this life that has this ultimate clarity to it. Really living yoga off our mat is just learning to think different, is learning to take our yoga from being a move, from being an asana, and going, hey, this is where my yoga starts. This is where my yoga starts. You know your yoga is working when you can really approach situations in which maybe before you got angry, you got agitated, you got nervous, but now suddenly you're calm. Maybe you're even happy and you learned that you don't have to feel or act a certain way based on a certain thing that you think is happening outside your body. That's when you really begin to know when your yoga is working. And that is really how you can take your yoga off the mat and really bring it into life. Yoga has brought me so much more than the physical posture. So I really want to share that with you guys. I want to go over each of these eight limbs, individual, special video for each one. But if you guys have any questions in the meantime, leave them down below. Let me know what you think, what you guys want to see, what you want to hear. And if you haven't already, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel for weekly videos on how to live a healthier and happier life. And remember, there is no better moment than the present. Have an awesome rest of your day.